All right, all right. Who is ready for garden tour number two? You guys aren't gonna believe how things are looking now. It's only been a couple weeks since we went on our first garden tour. And uh, yeah, it's just completely different now. So I can't wait to show you how, uh, how everything's looking right now. Well, we should probably start where it all began, eh? We should probably start at the uh, Hugo culture beds. The potatoes are like 70 feet tall. You guys aren't even gonna believe it. All right, here they are. Don't mind the parched grass. It was like 170 bazillion degrees. Look at that. So these are two feet tall and then everything else is obviously another like two feet tall. They have gone to flower. We're gonna let them do that. Um, no sign of blight this year. Look at the gorgeous leaves. No potato blight. I'm super, super, super stoked about that. Winning. Then we have our Walla Walla sweet onions. That one's for, for Simply Jan. She likes when I say Walla Walla. Walla Walla sweet onion. Um, okay, so these guys I trimmed, remember? Um, I told you I was gonna trim those so that we could push growth into the bulb of the onion. So I've done that. And then there's some new growth here. And these are gonna be shaping up to be really nice. And guess who came back? The cucumbers! I planted these from seed. And I do have some, well, some powdery mildew. Yeah, powdery mildew. Who else has it? It's a real problem, you guys. Um, blossoms, that's what I'm trying to say. Blossoms and little baby cucumbers. So I'm gonna have to treat that. Um, powdery mildew, super gross. Um, but here we have some more cucumbers. No powdery mildew over here. Excellent, excellent. Where is that little cucumber I saw? Oh, here we go. Little tiny cucumber coming. And then my corn experiment. Um, they're coming up again. I do not have high hopes for this corn. I do not expect to have a corn crop at all, but I'm doing it uh, for fun. My sweet potato slips and the beets and the carrots. Um, these have been thinned and I need to thin them some more, as you can see. All right, let's go check out the rock wall garden. All right, rock wall garden. We got our mint here looking big and beautiful. Put some flowers in here for pollinators of the garden. Got ourselves some marigold and some sage looking excellent. Then I got my green beans climbing up the trellis and check out my red lettuce. It is gargantuan and I am taking that camping. We're going camping soon, so I'm gonna harvest all that. Got some romaine that's been still eaten by the cats, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm so mad at them. They started eating it again. I know. And then my peas are trellised up to the sky. How pretty is that? And is there anything better than peas? I, I, don't, I don't think so. Like I come and eat them by the handful. The kids come grab them. It's the quintessential perfect garden treat. It, it's gotta be. There's nothing, it just, nothing compares. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have cabbage. Our rows of cabbage. We have our Brussels sprouts. We got little Brussels sprouts forming. And then we have our broccoli which is pretty much ready for harvest. So I'm actually gonna be harvesting this in time for camping as well. This little guy isn't so big, but he doesn't get as much sun. So I'm not too worried about that. That will be ready for us when we're back from camping. Then we have our deck, we have our tomatoes and our flowers. We have some tomatillos. Look at all those tomatillos gonna be so awesome. We have tomatoes coming, looking really good. And of course, who doesn't love some beautiful flowers on some um, deck planters? Last but not least, we have our herbs. We have thyme and sage, rosemary I gave a trim, and some oregano. Welcome to the seedy part of town. Oh yeah, and what do I spy here? A pepper! Yup, 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 peppers are growing good. 
everything's looking real good. So that's it, that's the update. Isn't everything um, way bigger than when you saw it last? Uh, I'm so excited, the garden has done really well this year. Lots of heat, lots of sun, and with my new irrigation, everything's staying really well watered and should taste pretty fine. I will uh, keep you guys posted probably one, one more time this season yet.